is solar worth it in winter? Well, the average three person home in Hobart uses about 31 kilowatt hours per day of electricity in midwinter. To generate that much solar in June, on average, they'll need a 20 kilowatt system and a huge roof to put it on. Clearly, for many people in the colder parts of Australia, solar alone, even with a battery, is not enough to get them through winter. So how can solar lovers get through winter using as little grid electricity as possible? Well, first, of course, you don't skimp on the size. Fill your roof with those panels to maximize your winter generation. But that solar must be combined with efficiency. As a half Finnish, half Pommy immigrant, I can tell you, most Aussie homes are horribly inefficient and miserably cold over winter. They're drafty with cheap, crap aluminium frame windows and insufficient insulation. My mum lives in this house in Finland where it gets to minus 40 degrees Celsius or worse outside. She lives there very comfortably and she gets reasonable power bills without any solar on her roof. How? It's really simple. She gets four things right. Gaps, glazing, insulation, and a heat pump. Gaps. My mum's house is well sealed. There are two doors on all the exits to make an air gap and great sealing around all the windows and doors. It's simple, it's rubber seals. Windows. She's got triple glazing on every window with insulated wooden frames. Insulation. She simply uses shredded newspaper, blows that into the walls, and that makes a great insulator for those cold Finnish winters. And finally, she uses a heat pump to heat the home, which is four times more efficient than resistive heaters. The heat pump operates happily in winter because it's sunk underground. It's called a ground source heat pump. We're lucky, in Australia, the air never really gets that cold and a good heat pump will happily work down to minus 10 degrees C. And that's really the secret to a happy, healthy, warm home that costs very little to run. You do this in Hobart and you can get your 31 kilowatt hours per day down to closer to 11 kilowatt hours, which on an average winter day in Hobart can actually be covered by around 6.6 .6 kilowatts of solar. But money saving shouldn't be the main reason to have an efficient home. You should do it for the hygge. Hygge is a Scandinavian word. It simply means cozy. A cozy home is a wonderful place to be in winter. And studies have shown that people in warm homes are happier and yes, they actually live longer. You can't put a price on hygge.